Ashton Center as a, as a company, um, of which I'm a director, it started about uh, eight years ago. We used to manufacture um, natural stone tiles, the hardest uh, stones that we, we have around. So we have moved on based on demand. We can easily manufacture for you approximately um, one three bedroom house in a day. In terms of the production of materials for a three bedroom house, we can easily do it in a day for the tiles and for, for the walling. The walling materials that we have are inter compressed concrete interlocking blocks. They have a block which has a male and a female. So when they sit on each other, they do not require um, mortar, either bedding mortar or jointing mortar. They just interfit, interlock, and you can build up to 1.8 meters height in a day. You can produce approximately 2,500 blocks per shift, which is 5,000 um, blocks. And that's approximately a, one nice three bedroom house in, in two shifts, that is 16 hours. Um, we employ uh, five people per shift uh, to work on the machine to produce those 2,500 uh, blocks. The bricks are made of a ratio, a mix between cement, sand, and quarry dust, machine dust, the crusher dust. Um, there's, there's a ratio that we use so that they are rock solid. The brick cures over 21 days, so if you place your order, you'll have to wait for some 20 or 21 days uh, so that we can now de deliver it when it's completely cured. It's important for it, for it to be cured so that we don't have wastage. Um, the wastage comes from breakage and rejected um, uh, or, or misshapen parts. So we, we, we remove all those and we try not, we try not to, to go too fast so that we give you what it is that will, that will work. At the factory level, we have uh, the capacity to produce um, the, the interlocking blocks and also paving blocks, what people commonly call cabro. And we also produce uh, hollow blocks, meaning that if you come here and you want us to build for you uh, an apartment block, we will do so quite conveniently using our materials. Behind me, um, we have a, a three bedroom unit. It took approximately three weeks to to construct. It is 60 square meters and the, the cost as at that time was roughly 1.4 1.4 million which meant which means that if you have your own uh, portion of land you come and give us that 1.4 million we will put up for you that house a similar house to this at 1.4 million. The difference comes in in the finishes, depending on the finishes that you want. Mimi ni lecho angari, ni ko marago, ni metenga nyumba ya interrupting rocks, na ni kikuja kujua mangoza ke ni pata kwa kundi, na ni kaona ni 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 kasajesti ni kujenga na yo, na after kujenga na yo ni kakuja kujua ni mzuri. It is very cheap kwa kujenga, haitumi. Kama ni simiti, haitumi simiti nyingi, mchanga nyingi, na hayendi wrong kwa kujenga. Unajenga for a, a, a short period of time, kama three weeks, na, nikona, na nimejenga nyumba ya three bedroom, abugaro, na ni mzuri sana. Kwa hivyo nigetaka kusema, kama unaweza taka kutumia hizi mawe, ni mzuri sana, na nimeka, na nimeka kwa hiyo nyumba for one year sasa, after sasa kujua hiyo mambo ya hizi interrupting blocks nilitaka kujua vile zinatengenezwa nikaenda training na nikapata ni si training ya yani training nzuri na hata ningetaka kuambia au wenye walikuwa wamepitia huko training kikoro warudi tena na tena juu youths huko hawana kazi na kama mungetupea hizo kazi za kufanya hiyo kazi tunaweza jumi ama trained na ningetaka hata mimi kuwa nafanya hiyo kazi Yotupate hata kama ni mkate ya kila siku. My name is Chief Inspector Bashir Ali Mahmoud, OCS Kikumbo Police Station. Basically, concerning the structures we are, was started way back 2016. The reason as to why we have used the services of 
officers at DK Prison is to ensure we limit the cost of building the same houses. The blocks, the interlocking blocks, which were used to construct the houses, were initially brought from Maranjao GK Prison. They are the ones who are making the same. And the, the blocks that were used for the second phase were bought from of, uh, youth empowerment groups at the Kanderego. So for the second phase, we used uh, sand. The interlocking uh, blocks in relation to other uh, uh, norm, uh, normal blocks which, are, which is used to lay from the, the, the cement. This one is cheap and cost effective. That is why we normally went for the interlocking blocks. That is uh, the cost effective about the, the interlocking blocks. These are two uh, di different distinct blocks. We have a kitchen, sitting, a bathroom, toilet, and uh, be two bedrooms. So, in fact, I can say uh, it, it, is, it is very much cost effective. I'm Gladys Mutire Gichiri, Assistant Chief Kamuru Subrocation in Muranga County. Ministry Officers Walipujapa. Na wakasema wakitaka kufunza vijana mjezi. Diyo sasa nikafanya mobilization more than a hundred eh, young boys and girls wali someshwa hii mjezi. Eh, tulianza kwa kujenga hii matulifari wakafunzo waka kujenga eh, rafu diyo sasa wakajenga hii nyumba. Kutoka hapo vijana wamejikuza Wengi wao wametoka kwa ulevi, wengi wao walikuwa wamepotea, lakini sasa wengi wao kiuchumi hata kiafya wako mbele. Kwa hivyo tunaona hii hii mlandi imeendeleza hii e, watu wa hapa na hata hii area kabisa kabisa. Hata ukiangalia hii nyumba e, wengi wageni wanakuja hapa kujionea. Na wakija wanaitamani na wanaita hii vijana wote wanaenda kujenga. Wamejenga mahali kafaa kwa hiyo tunashukuru serikali kabisa. My name is Ruben Omambia and um, I am originally born in Nyamira County, Itibo Resort uh, establishment. Uh, I started uh, I, I started one of my nephews who lives in Akuru uh, advised me to check on a, on a technology that he had seen in Nakuru, where they were using these interlocking bricks. And the way they were doing it, even their demonstrations with the machine, the hydrofoam machine, it, it looked so interesting. So I was impressed and uh, I started looking for a machine. I sourced it from Nakuru, but I went to get it all the way from Nyauru. Uh, then I discovered I had the raw materials on site the maram that would uh, do the job. The benefits of this technology. One, I wasn't going to outsource materials other than cement. Transport takes a big cost of construction. The only thing I needed was labor to excavate, to dig out the maram. And then the other advantage I, I realized was that um, I could use the bricks after 14 days to 21 days of curing. So I did wells here. I got a pump and it was easy for somebody to do the curing without struggling. The only people I needed were the hands-on people to clean the bricks, give them to him and he would arrange. And then the stem time is very good. You can do a house in a day if you want it. Then of course the, the bricks are thick. It's like a sandbar, no bullet can go through. Uh, then I saw another other aspects of uh, being resistant to earthquakes because of the spaces in between the bricks. 
there is the aspect of soundproof and uh, the beauty, the option that you don't have to plaster everywhere, you can even just polish them in the inside and there is no problem. So this is, uh, these are some of the considerations I, I, I... And then of course, if you remove the lintel in case you want to pull the house down, you just cut the lintel and you are good to go, you just remove your bricks, they are intact. So, that's why I chose that and uh, I don't have any problems as yet. It's now 10 years down the line. My name is Abuga Chesu Natunga. I'm the county director housing, Kiricho County. Five years ago, the uptake of uh, the technology has been uh, fantastic, both for individuals and for institutions. And uh, I'm going to give you a few examples where the technology has uh, been uh, used and how successful it has been. For instance, the Siloam Hospital, which is an institution, uh, done uh, a building block with the technology, and I believe the developer has been uh, very consistent on uh, the use of the same technology on other various projects that he has in mind. And even other developers who have done their uh, buildings, residential buildings in the estates, they have done a marvelous and fantastic job. Even uh, to date, they are asking for more machines for them to develop more other projects elsewhere. And even they have referred some of potential developers to come to our office, not only for advice and, uh, and, and consultancy, but also to be hands on in the projects as we continue to develop them. So, my name is uh, Dr. Kenneth uh, Sigilai. I'm a resident of uh, Kericho, Kericho Town, Kericho County. I'm one of the people who have embraced uh, this technology. And uh, I got to hear about it earlier on on the, on the TV. They used to promote a machine called Hydrofoam soil blocks. So I made inquiries and I found uh, somebody who was uh, a trained technician by the Ministry of Housing and we wanted to give it a shot. So we started the first uh, block of uh, eight units, one bedroom unit, and we gathered materials locally. So we wanted the, the best soil, so we were going for this road grade soil, what we call maram in our place, and we blend it with some uh, red soil. And that's how I proceeded to, to finish the first project and even embarked on another multi-storied uh, building uh, projects, which I hope you've been able to, to see, and uh, you can see in our background. And uh, all in all, We've been able to do 60 units of mixed uh, one bedroom, two bedroom units, and uh, three bedroom units. And uh, I must tell you, the the houses have become uh, some of the best properties or the best address you can choose in in Kericha. So the the advantages of using these uh, soil blocks it you can manage your cost because they are interlocking blocks the, the, these specific technology are interlocking blocks so meaning when you are laying the stones on, on themselves you just pile on themselves you don't use mortar so in that case you save on, uh, on mortar so you'll save on cement and you'll save on sand Again, because of the straight finish, when you are doing your plaster work, we only do, we don't do double plastering the way you would do with our stones, natural stones, because it is smooth and it's a thin layer of plaster. Give you a very, very nice, uh, nice, nice finish too. And of course, people will tell me you only jenga nyumba na kabro, you know, because of the <laughs> because the small size uh, lattices. It, uh, it looks uh, it looks cute 
So those are the the selling points of, uh, of using this uh, technology. My name is uh, Nicolas Ogajo. I'm the County Director of Housing for Bomet County. We are here at Konoin Technical Training Institute where we are doing a, a center and uh, we are using local available materials. So we are trying to disseminate this technology and uh, in Konoin it is well received. The soils around, we've uh, done some tests and we've realized that the soils are very good. So building using these materials, it's very good and uh, very cheap. The proponents are also very happy and they're intending to cut out uh, more projects using the technology. In terms of the youth, majority of the youth in Bomet County are not employed. So through this technology, we're trying to create a money power which can uh, help uplift our building industry through construction using uh, interlocking stabilized soil blocks. In line with that, we have uh, a group by the name FES Youth Group, which are nurturing as a, our enterprise development, development model, EDM. We did training for them and we produced uh, 2,000 blocks. They have gone af ahead to identify uh, potential buyers. So what is remaining is purely the closure of the transaction. The group is based in Sotik, and the nature, we, we are doing it uh, in our SOTIC ABMT center. But in general, in general, the uptake of uh, this technology in Pomet is good, both to institutions and individuals. Client. Yo, nilienda kwa miso kwa housing, nikaenda kwa apply machine na wakanipa mbila kupata shida. Nilipo pata machine, nilienda site, nikaendelea na kazi na nikaendelea na kutraini watu na kuwafudisha na tukaendelea na kazi. Na shukuru sana. My name is Andrew Mwase, the current director of Mwase in Kuali. In, in Kuali County, the update is good. The demand is dependent on on the applications we will see. Mm -hmm. the, the good thing with the county is that uh, the soils here are very suitable. Um, basically, every, every client is able to scoop the soil from that site. There's no need of buying quality dust from the quarries. They basically get it from the site. So the raw materials, I can say, they are fine.